Now, the image itself is composed of three elements, so that is hue, saturation, and luminosity, and obviously dodging and burning affects the luminosity, and to a lesser extent the saturation as well. So if we actually bring up our color picker over here, we see that you know this breaks down into those three elements. Now if we sample, let's say something on the cheek here, we see that the hue is denoted by this uh, top to bottom slider over here, which you see a bunch of different colors on. Um, so obviously we have this sort of reddish orange color here as our hue. The saturation is left and right here. So we have, you know, most desaturated on the left and then most saturated on the right. And the luminosity, which is of course what we're targeting with dodging and burning is this sort of up and down value. So as you can see here, you know, very bright at the top and fully black down at the bottom. So why does dodging and burning help us make the image look so much better because effectively we're only targeting one of three elements so how is it that it manages to actually work to produce an image that looks good so if we look at something like this over here we have this same image now this is sort of the image without any retouching and so if we look at the image in color we have this we have our colored image with some areas that we need to obviously work on so if we take this off and we leave just the color elements so just hue and saturation this is what we essentially have so this is our image as it is represented by color effectively so even though we saw things that were wrong with the image things that we need to fix can you really spot those issue areas here I would say not so much. I mean, obviously we see color shifts where we should see color shifts. So we see a color shift in the eyes, right? Because the reason of that is that we have this eye shadow here, which is a little bit pinkish. We see a change in color in the cheekbones because we have some blush there. We see change in color in the lips because obviously there was lipstick applied. You know, and then generally the skin itself is sort of the same color throughout. The difference, of course, being this area down here and in the nose, which if we look at it here is a slightly different color. And that's primarily because the luminosity shift is so large there as well. So you won't always get an even hue across areas where there's changes or dramatic changes in luminosity. Wherever the luminosity is sort of similar, you'll see that color, you know, transition pretty well I mean we can see that you know the forehead here you know tied with this area and then you know the neck and body it's generally fairly uniform um, but where we have large shifts in luminosity you're gonna see larger differences as well so obviously we have a huge highlight here and so we don't really have any color because it's, it's almost white and then over here we have a very different hue because there's a strong shadow under the neck so looking at that we can obviously make changes to the color but that's really not going to make a drastic change to the appearance of our image now of course if we make very drastic changes to the color it'll certainly be noticeable but those issues that we saw in this image here so patches like this or you know patches here sort of lines around the neck or whatever it may be you know some lines here things that we want to transition out make it nice and smooth we don't really see that in our color representation so targeting color as important as it is and of course we have to address color shifts it's not the main thing that our eye perceives as being sort of a problem area if on the other hand we look at luminosity and this is sort of the image from a you know purely luminosity standpoint so essentially what i've done here is i've got a black layer and then i've got the image itself on luminosity blend so I'm, I'm just kind of discarding the color information and just leaving the lightness and brightness values so here obviously we can see those problem areas i mean you know the lines around the neck they're still there you know all these patches and in fact we can see them better because our eye is no longer distracted by the color elements so that is at a very simple level why dodging and burning works well is because by by fixing these issues on a luminosity level, the eye will no longer notice them even when we're working with a color image.